Katie and this is my Katie the Pilates 40 minute Pilates hit workout. So the workout today is going to be a combination of traditional Pilates movements mixed with HIIT which is high intensity interval training. So you'll feel your heart rate get up quite a bit. Um, it's a really challenging full body workout so stick with it and I hope you enjoy. So really important before we get started just to remember our Pilates breathing. So when we inhale, take a nice deep breath into the back and sides of the rib cage, through our nose. And then as we exhale out, we're exhaling through the mouth. As we draw our belly button in towards the spine, we engage our core, so engaging our abdominals. And that's going to help to protect our spine and switch on all those core stabilizing muscles. So we're going to get started today with a roll down. So come up to standing hip width apart, hips are directly above the knees, directly above the ankles, shoulders relaxed, inhale, exhale, draw your chin in towards your chest and start to roll up and over towards your toes, inhale, just warming up to the spine, exhale, slowly feel each vertebra roll all the way back up until we're standing nice and tall. Now we're just going to warm up, get that heart rate pumping a little bit. So we're going to lift our knees, left to right. So just starting to get a bit more movement happening. Just keep your breathing. Just side to side. You don't need to add the arms here, but just makes it a little bit more work. So good on you if you have committed to doing this workout today because it's a really good one and I promise you you'll be feeling it for a few days afterwards. <laughs> so definitely comment and let me know. Good, two more to each side. Good. And we're going to come to the back of the mat and we're going to walk our hands forward into a plank and then walk it back all the way up into standing. Walking forward, so traditional movement like our plank, but we're just adding a little bit of movement. Walking it out, and back up to standing. Three more. Make sure you come to that nice plank position. You know you want to hold that plank. <laughs> and we're walking it all the way back. From there, we're going to have one more roll down. So, well, firstly, before we come into our roll down, we're just going to go into some split jumps. So we're going to take our right foot forward, left foot back, and we're going to switch sides. So we're jumping side to side again, getting that heart rate up. I can already feel mine. <laughs> it's not a good sign. Option here is to just continue with some lunges. If you want a lower impact option. Five, four, three, two, one. And you can stop. And we're gonna come back into one more roll down. Apart. Little rest here. Inhale, exhale. Rolling up and over. We're going to bend our right knee now and reach our left arm up and around. Just getting a bit of a stretch through the legs and the spine before we get a little bit more stuck in. Back down to centre and rotating. Whew. I'm already puffed. <laughs> it's not a good sign. <laughs> and back down to centre. Keeping your hands down here on the ground, we're going to set that right foot back now. We're going to come into a lunge. So find your balance here yeah, in your lunge position. And you're going to reach up with the hands overhead. So we're going to do 10 lunges here. Inhale, bend that knee down. Exhale, extend it. Inhale, lower. Exhale, extend. Getting that knee almost to the point where it's touching the mat. Using all those 
stabilizing muscles in the legs now. Three, two, last one. Hold it here, stay in that lunge position. Draw back through that heel. We're gonna lean forward, reach the arms long. We're gonna inhale, take the hands behind the head. Exhale, extend them out. Inhale, this is called shaving the back of the head. And it actually works really strongly into our shoulders. Looks like a really small movement. Keep strong with those legs. Three, two, last one, feeling your shoulders out. Come back up to standing. Take your right arm now and reach up, move to the left just for a nice stretch.
getting that leg up as high as you can. Keep going. Two more to each side. And last one to each side. Coming back up to center, take those feet out wide now into a Pilates V stance. And we're going to come into some squats, some wide squats, pressing through our heels. So inhale, press down, exhale, pressing up through the glutes. Inhale, lock, exhale, exhale. Good. So with these wide squats, you should be able to really feel your glutes fire as opposed to those quads. Three. Two. And last one. Press all the way back up. Good. Breaking up, coming back into those squat kicks. Squat and kick. Good. Are you having fun yet? <laughs> I'm filming this pre-Christmas. So this is a good Christmas workout. This is gonna burn off all that wine and cheese that I'm gonna eat. <laughs> Last one to each side. Good, coming back to center. Take feet out wide. We're gonna come back into those wide squats. So inhale, exhale, press into those glutes. Five more. These are our last squats for Three, two, and last one. Hold it down, staying low. We're gonna lift the right heel, then left, then right, then left. So sink it low, working into the ankles now, working the calves. Take your arms out for balance if you need. Good, keep it going. Three, two, one. Keep that right heel lifted. Ten little pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last side. Lift that left heel up. Ten pulses. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower that heel down. Well done. I'm going to come into some star jumps now. So get ready. We're going to take the arms up overhead and then out in front. So up and front. Overhead and in front. Good. Stick with me here. We're about to come down onto our backs. To work our core so we get a break. If the combo is too much, just keep going with whatever feels good. <laughs> with star jumps. I always feel like the biggest unco. <laughs> as long as the heart rate's up, then we're doing well. <laughs> Three more. And we're done. Woo, thank God. So, we're going to come down onto our backs now and come into the hook position. So, our feet are hip width apart. And we're gonna come down, laying on our back. So our feet here can be in full flag. So with the feet on the mat, the knees and the hips all in line, arms reaching alongside the body. Or if you've got more challenge, you can come into tabletop. Okay, so up to you, choose your level. We're gonna inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, coming into some chest lifts. Inhale, release. Exhale. Inhale. Good. 
enjoy that the legs are getting a break. But the core isn't. the 
legs well done <laughs> from there we're gonna roll over onto our sides for some side lie work so again I'm giving the core a little break now so when we're in our side lie work you want to make sure that your bottom and your torso and your arm are all along the line against the back of the mat head resting in the hands the feet are to the forward corner of the mat and you want to make sure here that your hips are stacked directly on top of each other so you don't want to allow the hips to drop forward or come back because that's just really relaxing <laughs> you want them evenly stacked and you want that core on that's going to support your lower back which is really important reaching long through the toes is going to keep your legs engaged so we're going to take that top foot over and place it in front of the body grab a hold of the ankle or the knee with your hand and we're going to take that right leg out in front rotate the toes down towards the ground and we're going to get into the inner thighs we're going to do some lifts lifting through that heel and i can tell you now i'm already feeling my inner thigh <laughs> because of all those squats and lunges so it's going to be challenge Stay with me, three, two, one. Now we're gonna go into three sets a little bit higher each time. Three, two, one, release. Three, two, one, release. Nice dynamic movement now. Really getting a burn in that inner thigh. Most important part to remember here is keep those toes pointing down so we're keeping the work in the inner thigh and lower it down. Legs are back together and we're going to come into some clams. So you're going to draw the knees in now towards the body. Place your hand on the top of your hip. So we want to make sure in our clams as we rotate open the knee, the hip drops back. Can't feel anything, I can do this all day. I would totally pretend in my workout videos to make it easier for me <laughs> but we want to make sure that we've got resistance these hips are stacked so you can feel almost like a weight pressing down on that top knee inhale lift exhale lower so just nice fluid breathing we're going to build on this so trust me you will feel the boost tomorrow <laughs> Three more like that. Two. Last one. We'll lift the feet up. Inhale. Exhale lower. You can also place your feet into a Pilates V position if you feel that helps you get more work. Again, make sure that hip's not rolling back. You can also use a resistance band here as well around your knees. Drop and catch. 
So now we're going to even out our sides. So again, making sure we're lining up our bottom torso and arm along the back of the mat, feet are to the forward corner. Core is switched on, reaching long through the toes. Take the top foot out in front, rotate those, the toes of the bottom legs, so the heels are reaching up towards the ceiling. And we're just going to start to slowly pulse the leg. Keep it going. Just a few more like this. And now three sets, a little bit higher each time. Three, two, one, release. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. You can feel the glute on that other side underneath here. Keep that rotation of the toes down to keep that work in that inner thigh.
So I can demonstrate this to begin with. We're going to start by untucking the toes and just coming in into plank. So making sure that bottom's lower, reaching nice and long through the head. So one long line from your head to your heels. Parallel with the front of the mat. Make sure 
you've got back legs and reaching long, hips are square and facing forward. Lengthen up through the crown of the head and then slowly fold it forward. Just enjoying that mass release through the glute. Maybe feeling an opening through your hip flexor on the other side.